Morning you guys, I'm here in my bathroom about ready to show you all my pregnancy safe morning skincare routine. I have been getting so many requests for this so I can't wait to show you guys. It's super easy, I've done a lot of research so let's get into it. So I wanna first start out by saying that I am not a professional skincare expert or doctor, but like I said, I have done a bunch of research on ingredients and I found a few great resources that I'll link up on my blog um, from doctors and medical professionals about pregnancy safe skincare. Um, first things first, it's the morning, so I have my jammies on and I have my eye patches on. Um, I have been raving about these forever and great news, they are pregnancy safe. So two or three mornings um, during the week, if I'm super puffy, the first thing I do when I wake up is I put my eye patches on, they hydrate and they really deep puff. After about 20 or 30 minutes with the eye patches on, my under eyes are super hydrated and I let all of the product get into my skin it's time to wash my face. So, good news, I didn't have to change my everyday face wash from before. Um, I use Dermalogica cleansing gel and I love it. So let's wash the face. My face is very clean. Now it's time to put some products on to really hydrate my skin. Um, and yeah, this hormonal acne is not making me happy, but I will say I just found a few things to really help um, with acne during pregnancy because it's very hard to find safe products. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get into my first serum. SkinCeuticals, in general, most of their products are pregnancy safe, which is good to know, but you do need to check the ingredients because when you're pregnant, you can't use retinols, which are basically vitamin A type products and a lot of acids. Um, my favorite is this CF serum, which really helps for dark spots, which is great during pregnancy. So let's put it on. I'm putting a few drops into my hand. And then we'll pat it into the skin. You guys have probably seen my other skincare videos. Pat it on and it absorbs better that way. Now for my favorite hyaluronic acid. And yes, I said most acids you cannot put on your face when pregnant, but hyaluronic you can. It's super hydrating. That's why I do two serums in the morning. I do the one to help more with my dark spots and this one to help with hydration. So again, I do like two little squirts and then I'm gonna pat into my skin. So next up, I do a moisturizer after my two serums. I use Glow, which I used prior to being pregnant. My esthetician said that it was pregnancy safe, but I went on and I double checked the ingredients and it is, so let's do it. I'm gonna put a couple pumps again in my hand and I bet you guys can guess what we're gonna do. Pat it in to the skin and I love this, it's so, hydrating and great for summer. Now on to SPF, which it breaks my heart to say that I cannot continue to use the Luna Naster CC cream that has the most amazing tint to even out your skin and SPF because it has chemical sunscreen and it's not pregnancy safe. So this is probably like the deepest dive into a specific product category that I have been on the hunt for that's pregnancy safe. I've probably tried 10 that are, that are a CC or BB cream that have um, a tint in SPF, but I just have not found any that are as good as Luna Naster, and I just don't think I will, and that's okay, but I have found three that I like. So I'm gonna share them with you now, and then I'll show you one on my skin. Um, the Elta MD, and everything is linked on my blog with a tint. The Tarte that is um, a BB cream that has SPF, and I'm gonna show you the Bare Minerals right now. So the Bare Minerals is called the Complexion Rescue and it has SPF 30 and a tint. Um, like I said, these don't have as great as coverage as the Luna Naster one. So I just tend to wear a little bit more foundation to even out my skin. And like I said, that's okay for now.
Now onto some hydrating eye cream. Many eye creams are not pregnancy safe, but I use M61, it's from Blue Mercury, and I'm really loving it, and it's great under eye makeup too. So I put a little on my ring finger, and I'm gonna tap it under my eye. Last but not least, let's not forget about hydrating our lips. I use this Tarte Balm, which I love in Nude. Oh, and it feels so good on my lips. Now I'm super hydrated. I'm gonna let everything soak into my skin and then we'll get to makeup and that is coming soon. Pregnancy Safe Makeup, my favorite concealer and foundation. Stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed my first of many pregnancy safe beauty and skincare routines. More to come, so stay tuned. And if you're interested in receiving more detail and information about the products that I talked about today or links to shop, head over to sbkliving.com. I also did a blog post to coincide with this video. Have a great day, guys.